All right, Bew is dead. That sounds like a a callback. It is not. Um, after B, after the Bew suicide thing, I was one hundred percent convinced that he had faked it because not only are the circumstances of his death stupid, not only is the reason for his death stupid, the stated reason, not only is the evidence for his death basically non-existent. Like every single person involved in this was suspicious unreliable presenting easily falsifiable evidence with no death certificate no documents nothing at all and the reason why he said he was going to kill himself was a website that had 13 pages where half of it was him posting and talking to people who really didn't seem to have too much problems with him when he emailed me he tried to extort me and he didn't even wait a day i said give me your i'll, I'll reply to you in the morning it's like uh early in the morning here it's like midnight um and i'll send you an offer i'll talk to you um, and as I've explained in the past, my offer to him was that I felt he was very lonely because he had social, he went to Japan thinking that going to Japan would be a, a panacea that would solve all of his problems in life. And I know that Japan is extremely isolating. And I thought he, what he probably needs is like someone to work with, um, that's outside of his bubble. And I was going to offer that he work with me on, on projects that I had. But he uh, killed himself, apparently, before I could reply. And all I said was, like, bro, I have to talk to my attorney because uh, I don't know what the fuck is going on. And uh, I'll write in the morning. And he didn't wait. He freaked out um, overnight, when he, I guess, when he saw it. And uh, apparently hanged himself on a doorknob. And we're now uh, pretty sure that this is real because someone, multiple people, have sent in a FOIA to the Department of State. Um, getting information from the Department of State is very difficult and takes a long time. Um, we received, or the guys received uh, FOIA responses in October 2023, so a couple months ago, and he sent it to me. And I received this, and I don't know what to make of it. Um, so I sent in my own request to the Department of State, and all I asked of them was to verify that the document that I received was true. That this is a real FOIA, um, this, and the contents of the FOIA match the contents of this PDF. It was received. I got no response. I sent in another message to them months ago, or like this year, like in January, saying, I have not received a reply to my FOIA. And they said, we uh, received your FOIA and completed it, and you, have, you received a response by email. I never received a response by email. I've double, triple checked. So I sent them a message again saying, please resend me that by mail to Harden, um, at his P.O. box in D.C., so it's not that far away. And uh, months later, I never received a response to that. Hard never received any email or paper copy of anything. So I've been just been waiting, and I was actually thinking of suing them because Harden is a FOIA lawyer by by trade. That's like his thing is that he does FOIAs most of the time. In fact, a majority of the country's FOIAs are uh, that go to court are litigated by him. Like that's his bread and butter. He does FOIAs. And he loves doing FOIA cases, and he had no issue trying to look into the BU stuff for me. Um, but before that happened, someone posted their own FOIA, and it matched very closely to what I had received. And um, it's pretty safe to say that the contents of this are legitimate, and if they are, uh, that BU is dead, and that the story that Hector Martin published is the actual story. That there was a tranny on the phone with him, and instead of talking him out of suicide, he was there and recounted what weird indie music he was listening to on the phone and that his ashes were sent to his co-worker in, in Hong Kong. Like the dumbest and most unbelievable, despite the fact that, that Bu was married and had a common law spouse in Ohio, that the ashes were sent to his buddy in Hong Kong in a fucking cookie jar. It's just crazy. It's the fact that... He is dead is more unbelievable than um, than that he would try to fake his death, even knowing it, because it's just such a stupid fucking story. It's, and it's such a stupid fucking reason. It's unbelievable. No, I killed him. Yeah, you, uh, <laughs> don't spoil it. Uh, and the clues like this are... Uh, this guy went over why... Oh, this guy, Sobadash. Um, this guy was a clue all along. The stuff Sobadash says about Patrick, Dave's ex-husband, matches 100% with the recount of events given by the FOIA, especially the back and forth about the cost of cremation and disposition of the ash ashes, Patrick emails being the one in blue comic sense. So, yes, uh, Bew's husband 
was sending emails to the Department of State, and I'll just show you it, assuming that my internet can hold up. This. This is how Bu's husband was uh, uh, communicating to the United States federal government in regards to um, his dead husband's remains. Extremely professional, if I do say so myself. As a font expert. Uh, dude, he, he was a fucking asshole. I'm convinced of it now. Because he had all these enemies in the, the emulator community. Like, these people hated him. They made fun of him in Discord. They doxed his family. They harassed his family and friends. They would chase him around all over the place. He was constantly embroiled in this stupid fucking drama. And then I think when it came down to killing himself, um, he had two choices. He could just kill himself because he wanted to die because he was a fucking loser who had moved to Japan, had no friends in Japan, and was in a foreign alien country as a pudgy white transvestite. And uh, option B was try to make some kind of like social movement out of it. And he decided, fuck it, I'll just blame the Kiwi Farms and I'll get the Kiwi Farm shut down with my suicide. And that's what he went with. So I just, I, he like had a, a revolver with two bullets in it and he tried to shoot me with one and shoot himself with the other. Kind of a fucking dickhead, if I do say so myself. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.